ancient skeletons. One of the most sought after things in the Sea of Thieves, but also one of the trickiest to track down. In this video, I'm going to try and show you guys how to maximize your chance of finding an ancient skeleton out on the seas and maybe even a farming strategy if you are lucky enough. But it is worth mentioning, even though I can tell you how to maximize your chance of finding an ancient skeleton, it will not confirm the spawn of one as it is very much RNG and requires a bit of luck to get them to spawn. However, don't get discouraged because there are a few methods out there that you can do to increase your chance of finding him. With all of that out of the way, how about we go ahead and start this thing by telling you a bit about ancient skeletons and where they spawn. So in case you don't know, ancient coins are the in-game currency that you can purchase with real hard-earned cash. However, they also have a chance of being obtained in Sea of Thieves through the likes of an ancient skeleton. Now, these ancient coins can be used to purchase things like the plunder pass, cosmetics, and a few other things as well. Now, these ancient skeletons are a PV entity, which means they can only be found at any place that skeletons can spawn, meaning you'll never find one at an outpost or any safe space that doesn't host PVE elements. They are also a non-hostile entity, which means when they spawn, they will run away from you. The positive side of these ancient skeletons is they have a very, very, very distinctive sound that sounds like this. If found and defeated, you will find them dropping between 100 to 800 ancient coins. They do spawn in three different tier lots. Tier 1 ancient skeletons will spawn between 1 to 200. Tier 2 will spawn between 2 to 400. And finally, Tier 3 will spawn between 400 to 800. Now, these also work in rarity, so it's most likely you'll find a Tier 1 Ancient Skeleton, but it's not been unheard of to find Tier 3 ones. So for the two of you that don't know anything about Ancient Skeletons, there you go. That's all you need to know. Let's go ahead and get into how to spawn them. But quickly, before we do that, though, I just want to let you know that you can catch me streaming over on Twitch if you are interested, and also give away stuff there too. So hey, you want a plunder pass, you want some serpent sales, feel free to check me out over there. Now, ancient skeletons can spawn at any location around the Sea of Thieves world, but I believe I have found a few locations where the spawn chances are increased. What we know about the spawning of ancient skeletons is that they do spawn in place of regular skeletons, and they do have a higher chance of spawning in an area that has more players in the same location. Technically, meaning yes, if you sit yourself with a bunch of players in a location that continuously spawns skeletons, you will be able to find them in no time. So, there are a few places on the Sea of Thieves that continuously spawn skeletons or PVE entities. That's important. As we mentioned earlier, it is a PVE element, therefore it can spawn if other PVE elements are spawning. So the most likely locations that you will find ancient skeletons will be places like forts, fortresses, and of course, the shores of gold. Now they can spawn on an island, but I have found personally they are less likely to spawn if you are doing random things on an island as opposed to spending time on a fort, fortress, or the shores of gold. Not to say you won't find them on normal islands, but to say they are less likely to be found on normal islands. Now this claim is backed up by firstly methods that I've been testing over on stream, which you can see here, and alternatively by gathering clips from my community and the larger Sea of Thieves community as well of them having ancient skeletons spawn on them. And you guessed it, majority of the locations that I found ancient skeletons or people have found ancient skeletons, were on forts and fortresses. But again, that doesn't mean you can't find them on islands. If you are doing something like a gold hoarder voyage, you'll notice that skeletons will spawn when you do dig up the actual chest. And also, if you're doing Order of Souls, you'll find skeletons will just naturally spawn passively. As we know, ancient skeletons spawn in place of a normal skeleton spawn, so make sure you're doing something important on an island that can spawn skeletons. Now, we've gone through what they're like, we've gone through where they spawn, we've also gone through how to technically force spawn them. Let's talk about some methods, or in turn, farming methods, that you can do to increase and maximize your chance of finding ancient skeletons. Just briefly, a quick disclaimer, even though I know most of you guys know this, but that does not mean they will spawn 100% of the time, but it does mean you are increasing your chances as much as humanly possible to get them to spawn. 
So method one is the method I call the fort jumping method. And it's also the method that I found most efficient. So you're going to want to spend your time at forts, whether it's doing world events, the new keg voyages, or just even AFKing at a fort until you hear an ancient skeleton spawn. As long as you're spending time on a fort, you'll be increasing your chance of getting an ancient skeleton. This method also transfers over to fortresses as well, as it is likely you will find them there too. So to really maximize this method, you're gonna wanna spend your time going through world events that are fort-based, whether it be a Fort of Fortune, Fort of the Damned, or of course, normal forts that you find around the map. Then in the downtime, visiting sea forts, completing them, and of course, doing the new keg voyages. Since continuously doing this over the last week alone, I have managed to find two ancient skeletons, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I can honestly say after 6,000 hours of playing Sea of Thieves, that's been the most likely spawn rate of ancient skeletons. Given what we know about them, I wouldn't put it down to just lucky. I put it down to a method that is really effective and viable. However, it's not the only method as there is another one that has been quite fruitful for people as well. And that is spending time at the shores of gold. Unfortunately, I don't really know why this is the case, but I have found and many players have found too. You can find proof of this on the internet if you do a little bit of digging. Ancient skeletons have an increased spawn rate at the Shores of Gold. I can only assume it's because the Shores of Gold has frequent spawning skeletons and it is a spot of high player intensity that this is the reason why they are found frequently on the Shores of Gold. However, the big downside to this method is the fact that it is on the Shores of Gold and the only way you can get there is with a checkpoint. I feel like I'd need to do a bit more research on that to make it viable, but hey, I'm not gonna go ahead and say my opinion's worth more than the larger community of the Sea of Thieves. And I can in fact say that I have found ancient skeletons on the shores of gold, so I wouldn't say it's entirely pointless to give this one a go. The final method is a bit of a long ball, but hey, it's the most likely situation you're going to find them if you are just playing Sea of Thieves normally. And that is quite simply doing Order of Souls voyages and world events at the same time. Order of Souls voyages will spawn skeletons, which will increase the spawn rate of a possible ancient skeleton. And of course, you already know why doing forts are important too. But all in all, I really do feel like the best way to find ancient skeletons would be through doing forts, fortresses, and other things that can spawn skeletons. With that being said, hey, let me know down in the comments where you have found ancient skeletons if you have found them. There's nothing wrong with more opinions and more knowledge because at the end of the day, that just helps all of us as a community and helps us get better at finding ancient skeletons in the wonderful game that is Sea of Thieves. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more videos like this in the future. Leave a like if you do plan on doing this method or it has helped. And let me know down in the comments where you have found some ancient skeletons on your own. Stay cool, stay groovy, and I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.